Well, I assume the quality is somewhat shit. But I think that's okay. I'm in a weird place here. I am basically... It's like a playground. And now my voice was telling me, my inner voice, my voice, leave the city. At least like the main focus area. And I think that's also like partly because, you know, where would you want to talk like this? And to be honest, I don't think doing such talks in cities is much use. Because one of the reasons, yeah, not only, I was also just afraid, but I also had the feeling that doing this in cities is not really what I wanted to do because I actually want people to listen to me and I don't want to shout. And in cities there's so much noise, you actually have to shout against the noise. And I find that a bit uh, uncomfortable. And therefore, I'm just waiting for an opportunity to somewhere perform on stage. And I somehow have the feeling Amsterdam would be a good start, because it's quite international. And for me it's just my goal, at least partly, to be in Amsterdam, I think. It's weird that I talk about this again, but I think I need to be in a city where there's a bit more going on. Because here it's just dead. But maybe I'm mistaken, right? I mean, on the other hand, I'm talking about it, and I've already tried to set foot in Amsterdam, but I didn't manage. And somehow I thought, you know, this was it, and the message was, you know, never come here again. But I think it was just a taste. You know, this is not how you're going to do it, so you first have to have people that know you, and then you can go there. And then, yeah, you just see what happens, and you just see what will, will develop. But I'm sure there's some kind of meaning that I was already there. And I'm also sure there's some kind of meaning to the places I've seen. And I can't help it, but when I was there, I just loved it. And it's strange because it doesn't have any nature, but it does have the ocean. And yeah, few things make you feel as alive as diving into the ocean. It's just raw power, isn't it? And that's something that I felt in Amsterdam. And sometimes, you know, you just have to consult with your heart. Is that what it wants? And in a way I say yes. Although a part of me is also afraid that this is the wrong thing to do. But considering that <laughs> some obstacles you just need to face. You just have to walk to them. And now I know already how not to stay in Amsterdam. So now I just have to figure out a way how to stay there. And for that I definitely need money. Which is what I'm trying to raise partly through YouTube, by just raising an awareness for me and maybe giving people the feeling they would like to see me on stage. But then of course maybe I have to have people who think, you know, I think that guy's worth it. And that's the people, right? The people who decide who they want to see or not, or hear or not. And I'm already doing what I do anyway. So, I think there's more than enough content available to get a feeling of what I have to offer. And now it's just to keep doing what I'm doing. And maybe there's a reason why I'm uh, planning ahead with YouTube. But see, you see, you never know that. You follow your heart, you follow your intuition, and it sends you in a direction. It gives you a job and you do that. And you do that until it's done. And for that you may have to sacrifice some things. There are some women you think you may love. And you realize that's not it. 
like I've tried that. I've tried loving her and I've tried showing her my way of doing things and she ran for it. Like they all run for it because they're not up for it, right? I'm a challenge. I am a challenge for any woman. So if the woman doesn't have any balls, then, you know, sayonara, right? Because I'm an intense character. And no, this is not my dating profile or something. It's just something to be aware of in general. Like, can you say that of yourself? I sure as hell couldn't say that a couple of months back. But I started to realize that the more I grew spiritually, like my spirit and my body and my physique and my mentality came in line or was tuned in on my actual path, you know, this is me, my true self. The more I did that, the more intense I got, the more intense I got, the less people knew how to deal with me. And also, I didn't know how to deal with myself. So I learned it and I realized, stop giving a shit. Because now you've worked with most of your fears. You know how to do that. It's still sometimes a struggle, like going out tonight and doing these recordings. No. I didn't want to do it, but I did it anyway, because that's what I've learned. You know, just do it. Just continue and do it, you know. In the end, you will feel better. And one more experience that tells you, you can do it. You know, you just pull through. Because you've got a mission. And that's raising awareness for the state of affairs, which is shit. The state of affairs is like, really shit. If you consider the potential that humanity could have, what we could do together, then what we are doing here, driving around in cars, and it's shit. It's shit, it's way below anything that we could do. Way below that. And that just makes you sad. And that just makes you go to the streets and do th something about it. And I think that's just what I'm doing. And climbing stuff and then filming stuff at the same time is also kind of nice.